Welcome back folks, this is lesson 2000 or 202 and I thought, oh, the, the, the theme, the, the last one was a, a sort of a, an old shed which uh, which I, I did in the summer uh, I, I've still got that on my back burner to do the same scene in winter probably after this one but I want to keep this, this, the, the sort of pictures a bit simple just now easier for the beginner to, to tattle and, and just to uh, not complicated at all so this one is just a basic picture of uh, uh, harvest time, if you like. So there's, there's a field coming down here, there's a field going up there, a nice sky, and here's the, 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 the church and probably one or two dotted buildings around it and a few trees here. Let, let, let's do it. It's, it's, it's simple. Let's keep it simple. And uh, we'll put, put, put some sky in first. Let's have a nice day for a change, shall we? A full nice day. Now this is, this is clean water. This is a touch of sunshine. Watch the brush, of course. And then let's have some blue sky in it. This is a, a, a ultramarine. This, this is, should be a nice sky, a nice day anyway. There's that number 20 brush I've been telling you about this. That's, it's very useful. I like that it's coming, it comes from the left, and so it's, it's uh, As I come down to the horizon there, I'm going to introduce a touch of Elizabeth Crimson in there into, into this base of the sky. Mind the cornfield. Soften those edges because I left it too long. It's, it, it, it's hardened on me, and uh, I don't like hard edges. So I've got to soften them a little bit somehow. Mind the church. I said this brush is so good. It you can attack it and just. It'll go with you around the church. I think we should have a touch of just a touch of uh, cloud shadow, which is which is important. Just to see if the lights from the left here. So we're going to get some cloud shadow around the edges of this, aren't you? Around the back side of it. Soften that cloud. Give it some shape. I'm trying to use clean water on this just to give it a touch of softness.
I spend a bit of time on, on skies. I hope, I hope you don't mind. But this is all I'm doing is is, is I'm not sort of trying to create a masterpiece. All I'm trying to is think in my head if the light's coming from the left, there's going to be shadow sort of stuff on on the here and round here and round here around the back of this. So it, it I'm, I'm just making sure that uh, that I get this effect. A bit of a, a bit of a dark, dark sort of colour behind the church. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? But be careful near the church. I don't want to muck the church or whatever I do. fiddling so I'll just stop right that's dry now uh, these these are, are cornfields both cornfields but two fields separated by hedgerows and stuff like that so let, let, let's just pop it in this is raw sienna on this let, let's just drop drop some color in here I'm still using that same brush I've washed it obviously you know some on this field here as well. I say I want to keep this one nice and simple because there's beginners joining us and I want them to, to en enjoy the painting instead of getting bogged down because 200 was a bit, bit of a, a bit difficult. There's a bit, it was a bit fiddly and uh, if I was a beginner I wouldn't start on that one. But this one is just so easy you can just, you can do it even if you've never picked a brush up before. So have a go at this one. This is there's the cornfields in. I might put a bit of this is uh, burnt burnt umber. Let's put a touch of burnt umber in there just to darken certain areas of it. That's the burnt umber just on top of it. Just a touch. Don't not don't not go mad. Lights from the left on this one, so you might get some darks down the field on that one coming down there. A bit of a dark in this corner. Right. Now I, I want to put, I put the church in and perhaps suggest one or two uh, roof roof lines of, uh, of surrounding cottages. That, that should be straightforward. I don't want to complicate it. If I complicate it, I'm sorry. So what I'm going to do is just go in here with some a touch of uh, burnt burnt umber. No, no burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Let, let, let's suggest. One or two suggestions of, of, of cottages and stuff like that that's around here. They don't want to be sort of, they're not uh, just, you can just see the roof lines of some of them. It's a bit of a, a, a hamlet. So, so you, you, you just you're not you're not seeing brickwork and stuff like that, but you're seeing the the, the village church, which will be like a I'll paint that like a it's a pale 
grey colour, it's like flint, a flint church this one. So we can paint it. I'm not going to paint it too much, too heavy. This is our church. That looks devil just now, so I've got to sort that out. But I shall sort it out, folks. Says he with his fingers crossed. Says he with his fingers uncrossed. So right, that that just give me my basic colour of, of the of the church. There's a collection of, of, of trees in the village which I want to sort of indicate. This is. And I'm going to use a, a touch of cadmium yellow. You don't need much on this. Cadmium yellow and Windsor blue red shade. Well, that's dry now. What about I do? I better put some a bit of green around the back of these because uh, when it comes towards the village, there's some uh, trees. That's what shape the shape of the houses, if you like. So we go around the shape of them, them, them blobs at it. And there's one or two over this, take one or two trees over this side here. So you, 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 you sort of ring, ring fence in the village. There's usually a bit of a dark green round around the base of the village, and around the, the church anyway. So we can take that, that up there. Right. So that that's the the, the basic of a basis of a little village there. You can't see the, the vicar or anything like that, he's behind the church. Now then, I'm going to put, a, there'll be a sort of a, a hedgerow on the horizon there. Let, let's, let's pop a hedgerow on there. And I think this will be more, more distant, so, so we'll make it a bit bluey. Put a little lizard in there just to to capture this distant, uh, that's this will do a look. This is ultramarine blue and a touch of alizarin crimson. And it's just sort of giving me a separation from the sky. In fact, sometimes what you can do, if you're a beginner, let me show you. you get a piece of Thing like that, and go like this. Look, Something like that. Then you've got a bit more, put a bit more on. Take it down towards them, them trees there. Keep it flat. You can even leave a bit of, bit of gold behind it. Like another field. So that helped it all, you know, it, 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 it's just a little bit of uh, twiddlery. Uh, a, a very good friend of mine uh, 
Terry Harrison, the late Terry Harrison, lovely man, sadly died too young. He used to use this this this, this kind of technique, and he, he, was, he was really good at it. Piece of paper, he could, he could do anything with it. Have a many happy meal with with Terry. Sad. Not to worry, we're not, we're not going to be sad. We? We're going to get on with our job. Our picture. I want to put, 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 a, put a bit of dark in there because it, 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 it's too light there and it's, and it's not sparkling against the against the cornfield. If I don't think I like that going over the field, so I'll, I'll put a bit of a, a bit of a bush in there instead. See, it's lovely you can change your mind, and you can do the same. If you don't like a bit, make something else of it. Make it a tractor, or, or anything. Anything that, that, that takes your fancy. The main thing is, enjoy it. That's, all, that's what you've got to do. So the, the, that's got the, the distance done. Now we've got some uh, a hedgerow here as well, which will be more important because it's, it's closer to it, isn't it? So right, let's have an hedgerow. The cadmium yellow is a good colour for this. Now, I always have a tester, a tester side of you. What I mean by that, a tester is, is this sort of thing. Test your colour on there because it's, it's, it's easier to alter it on this than on your painting. That's a bit too bluey. So I can go in a bit and get a bit more greeny. That's better. So I can pull that down now. I've got the colour I want. And let's just put in some draw down here I think there's a couple of trees up this one as well let's, let's, put, let's put this in and this it looks looks bigger because why because it's closer to you it's going to be bigger isn't it when you think about it Gonna look bigger. I don't like that, I've just made a mistake there. And all these lines subconsciously are leading your eye to, to the, 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 the point which, which is interesting. That's the village, isn't it? So the, 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 all the lines are going that way and that way and we're finishing on this little round bit here. And uh, you, you, you're doing this subconsciously and it's working for you, which is nice. I want to put a bit of dark in there because it's, uh, it's not dark enough. Test it on my paper. Get some dark light from the left, don't forget. So if, if it's any darks on it, you're going to get on the right hand side of these bushes, aren't you? Like that. Right hand side. Which hopefully will make it three dimensional. Now this dark, of course, will hopefully be in the undergrowth as well, where the hedges come down to meet the meet the ground. Right, I say it needs some trees here, so we're going to put some trees in. Let's have a look what we've got. Well, a bit of burnt umber, I think. Mix a touch of that with some ultramarine. She can be a nice, nice juicy dough. That, that, that's lovely. Yeah, I'll save that for it. The first thing I do on, on, is with a chat. I like to spend the 
bent the tree a bit first. So it's, it's, it's summertime, so we'll, we'll drop a. This is it's the same green as this. We'll just just go over the top and just do some. Just let it lead. Leave some holes in it. That's our first tree. It'd probably be nice if we got this tree to be to, to break that horizon, wouldn't it? Let, let's do that. Let's break the horizon. Don't matter if there's one or two holes in it. That's lovely. Now if we get a smaller brush there. Is he looking for one? That'll have to do. And we can put on there then I suggest some, some trunk in there, won't it? A bit of dark as it comes up through the the leaf formation. Through the tree. I so said, "This is a nice basic one for for beginners. You don't have to know anything about green to trees. All you do is just paint what you like and enjoy it. And it, you know, that's a tree with holes so the birds can fly through. That's all that is. Right. I'm gonna have another one, I think." Just for fun. So I'll have another tree here. Perhaps a bit smaller one, a different colour. This is a, a lime greeny colour. Don't forget where the light's coming from. It's coming from the left. And so that side is going to be dark, isn't it? And if you do it while it's wet, it's, it, it spills into it. I've still got my other brush in my hand, so I can use my dark. And put a bit of twiggery on it. That's that. And then we'll have a third one. I don't like two, so we'll have a third tree, shall we? Uh, let's see now. Probably bigger again. Uh, some of the green. A bit coming up here, that's right. Right, this church, it's a bit flat, you see. So what we're going to do, the light coming from the left, you won't forget. So the front face there will be in full sun. But the side of the church will be in shade, won't it? So we better put that in shade, that piece there. Shed, there's, there's a magnifying glass just there, and you know, it, it's, it's been there for, for years. I, I never used it, so I don't know why, why it's there. I don't know. I must, I must use it sometime when my eyes, eyes get worse. So, there's our, our little church, and it has a little, it's got a little window in there that gives it that. And there'll be some window windows around here. Just little tiny ones, you'll see. There's usually one on the back, but I'll put that in, in, in dark. The church now, now, now it's, it's had got the sunshine on it. 
bit of a re relief under there. I have a door in the front of the church there. And some of these buildings here, they're going to get a bit, get a bit dark on e the dark side, on the shadow side. So don't forget them, because they're, they're, they're nothing, but they're important. It's difficult to, to, to say to a beginner that it's, it's, it's important, but it's, it's nothing. But it is. These are little bits of shadow, which gives the building a little three-dimensional look. So it's part of the village. Right now, I'm going to put a pantel roof on that because it'll, it'll, it'll look, look nice in this in the scheme of things. And the pantel roof, we can use burnt sienna. That'd be, be, be a nice colour for it. Let's put it in our test paper first. Make sure we've got the colour we want. That looks good. That looks good. Because it's not not a lot, not a space. It's, it's similar colour to the, uh, the 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 buildings, of course, because it's the same material. I see. When that's dry, there, I'm going to put a window in there in the church tower because there's usually one in I'll try it now, it might, might be dry enough just to try one just about here that's it, that'll do that's it a bit of a dark down here So as I say, it, it's a, a basic painting for uh, to let beginners have a go at something which is which is it's not too complicated, it's not difficult. Now because it's 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 the same colour, this it's a bit flat. So I want to bring this part forward. I'll put a cloud shadow in the front of it, and that should bring it bring it forward and, and bring the and give us something to look over, if you like. So I'll put. See what colour we got there. It's only one piece of the painting, but it's, it's important to us. So we've got to look after it. Right now. And that, that cloud shadow, of course, this is for beginners. I know you, you need you regulars and know, like, know all about it, but the cloud shadow, it, it, it didn't have a hard edge. So it can, it can be a cloud from over here, which is casting a shadow across this, this cornfield here, and it'll make it darker. But, it, but so it doesn't have a hard edge. We'll put a dark, a, a, a clean water here. This is clean water, but don't get near the edge of it, because you've got a hard edge, okay? So when you put your, your shadow on, it's going like this, sir. Now that's kept away from the edge, and therefore it, 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 it's softened. And it keeps soft, and keep it soft in the, in the corner here as well. Now would it benefit through, a, through a, a two or three crows? I don't know, it might, it might do, because they're hard of his time, you know, and it's, it's a touch like that. I better dry that first, or it'll be all over us. That's dry now. What you might see in the in the in the, in the foreground, as a, as a biggest, you, you might see a suggestion of, of uh, right right in the foreground here, a touch of rogue. A touch of rogue. Uh, what you might see in the foreground is. Odd bits of uh, corn and stuff like that, which, which, which come up and you can see it in that. But 
but you don't see because you're right on top of it. But it's nice to put something in there because it uh, it gives the viewer something to look over. You think, oh, yes, that, that, that's the, that. we stood by stood by the edge of the field, and uh, it, it just got. It's got a few, it's, it's stubble on the end, I can see it, because the corn's here, it's, it's, it's all, all ready to be cut, but we can see the, the edge of it here. And it's nice to show that. I, mean, I don't, want to, don't want to overdo it, but it's just to give you an, an instant, of, a, an idea of what you can do with, with bits and pieces in the foreground. I mean, sometimes you, you can even to, to 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 give you something to look into. You can put a bit of bit of a fence here, just a, a bit of a broken fence, and then you're looking over that into the picture. But as it is, it, it's enough that, and uh, we we can we should be able to see what to uh, see a bit of shadow around there now, because it's because it's dark around the front of it like that. That anchors your, your, your corn to the, the floor as well. And I promise you a couple of crows are soft and so on. So let's have a couple of crows. Because they're looking after their corn and they love their... Get amongst that lot. The farmer loves them, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, the short one, he loves them. The pigeons come up and stuff like that. And they all want the other one to cut. Everything he wants, a little piece of the action. So let's find us see if we can find some dodgy bits on the on the sky. I mean that's a dodgy bit there. Let, let's turn that into a bird, shall we? That's a bird coming in, if you like. That's one of it. Now you either one or three or five. Never the even number could it looks like a squadron. That's one flying tree over the, over the top. Any more dodgy bits? There's a dodgy bit here, look. Put one in here. That's two. Let's have another one. Let's have another one. Where's it going to be? Oh, it's a bit. It's come off that. It's a bit, a bit of fluff. I have a tiny one right near the church here. How's this? One, two, three. That'll do. Right, I, I, I want to do a quick uh, for, for the beginners that's, that's joining us and that because uh, the, the new people all the time coming on and welcome to welcome all of you. And as I, as, this is quite simple. This, all you do is, is you two two blobs of yellow there, yeah, some bits of trees in amongst it, and a sky, and pick out if the light comes from there, put some little shadowy bits on that side, and you've cracked it. Even the, the the village church tells you where the light's coming from. It's coming from there because there's there's dark on that side and that side. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. It's it's number two hundred and two. And uh, and if you enjoyed it, I look forward to seeing you on the next time. Do give it a, a, a like and a, and a share and and tell your friends about it, and then we can uh, then we can get some more done. So until then, folks, it's bye bye.